Fringe Fest. Fringe show where people improvise the entire Fringe Festival just for you. <laughs> Let me explain how it works. As you can see, there are two teams of improvisers. Uh, let me let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Cameron Smith. Hello, I'm Rita. I'm Amanda Matucci. I'm Megan. I am Courtney Matucci. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Connor. 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 That's Connor, everyone. <laughs> Remember that name. Hey, we're all going to get it. Go for it. All right. Who are you? In this box. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? That's what they're asking. I'm Brian Colley. I'm the host of the show. Woo! Um, in this box, we've got all the shows that are in the Fringe Festival, except the ones we've already performed. And uh, how it works is we will just draw a show randomly from this box, and then one of the teams will have 30 seconds, or 33 minutes, to perform the show for you. Um, and that's basically how it works. Or is it? <laughs> There's a couple of rules. Um, if anyone on the team has seen the show, then they can't uh, perform. You can't perform a show that you've already seen. If everyone on the team has seen the show, then it goes to the other team, and they have to perform it. Uh, and most importantly, after they do their scene, um, they get judged by the critic. Who might be one of you. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think there's some other rules that I can't remember, but uh, they're not that important anyway. But we're here to binge the fringe, so let's do it for Everyone's so far away. The show is called Sex and Death, the Folk Tale <laughs> Edition. So I'm going to read the show's description from the program, and that's what they're going to base their uh, piece on. Which team? Mm -hmm. Red team? Hey, Cody. Yeah. Which team would you like to go first? The Red Team. The Red Team. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Red Team will go first. Um, all right. I remember that very <laughs> <laughs> um, Sex and Death Folk Tale Edition is by Laura Packer, who is not in the audience tonight. Has anyone seen this show here at the Fringe? No? Has anyone on the red team seen this show? No. No? I'm familiar with the concept, but not the premise. <laughs> okay. Well, you all have one more chance to see it this Friday, so you can check it out, or you can see it right here at Fringe Pro. Yeah. All right. So let me read the description, and then we'll go and see what happens. Don't think folk tales are just for kids. Gigantic parts, magical enhancing rings, fatal mistakes. We have been talking about sex and death since we had language. Clever women, wily men, Inevitable death. Join storyteller Laura Packer for an evening of thought-provoking, racy, fun, poignant, traditional stories. Murders, mayhem, hope. <laughs> Laura's Casey Friends shows have been called amazing, breathtaking, and wow. <laughs> so join us for great stories that will entertain and surprise you. Yeah, I just hate when your father wears it in bed. 
it freaks me out, and I just, I want it out of my sex life. I, I hate to, I was just wearing the cow costume, and then you just told me that you, well, you I'm sorry, you have to learn about sex now. I'm gonna go sell the cow costume now. Hang on. Hmm? <laughs> I do have a grandmother, and she has a still wild sex life. <laughs> so you should go to her place. All right, see you later, little girl. <laughs> Grandma! Oh, little Fred. Um, there was a hot man in the woods. <laughs> I sent him your way. Did he get here? Hot man, you say? Yeah, he was looking for something to eat. Your face, I'm the wolf. Oh! M my oh. bad. You guys have already gotten at it. <laughs> <laughs> you look familiar. Grandma, I Geraldine? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, no! Do you know what this man put me through? Herpes! Oh! No. I'm sorry, Grandma. I just wanted you to have a good time. Well, <laughs> little wolf will be on the way. <laughs> oh, you stay. Okay. I'll go. You can stay too. It's not. I. I, I don't think I should. <laughs> probably like a. <laughs> oh no! I lost my shoe. What? What? Wait. It, for some reason, I sound like a little boy again, but I'm a prince. No, I'm sorry. I really have to go. It, it seems like this could probably just take no, like a few seconds. I really have to go. Just stay away from me. <laughs> Sajana. I have athlete's foot. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to die, aren't you? Yeah. But at least he'll never know. <laughs> All right. Since nobody here has seen this show before, the, the real show, um, it, it all comes down to the critic. Ooh. Let's welcome to the stage Tara Varney, our critic. Yeah. Well, I'm going in the true sense of theater of the, of the absurd, first you have to get rid of your preconceived notions of absurd and really focus on the futility of the human struggle in this ridiculous thing called life and death and sex and baked goods. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, how many points would you give the red team? Oh, um, I say they get um, UNESCO points. Oh, they get ten points. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that's French Prob. Hey, hey, hey. 